All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we're gonna be in the 135 pound division where Gervonta Davis, Adul, Wahid, Tank, Wahid, <laughs> uh, has some uh, rumors put out on him about something bad happening to him in sparring. And insight given into his true personality. Also, another fighter is in the running, and this is me putting this out there, for the fight with Tank Davis. <laughs> Gervonta Tank Davis, now known as Adul Wahid. Let's talk about that in this video. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanand. And in this video, we're going to be in the 135 pound division where, you know, everything is tank, 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 tank. We are talking about tank, tank, tank. Man, I'm having a hard time with this name change that Gervonta Davis made from Gervonta Davis to Abdul. I think it's Ab Ab Abdul Wahid as he has converted uh, religions or accepted Islam, however you want to phrase that. Um, just got wind of some new word that is out there that he is not performing so well in his sparring sessions and was getting beat up in his sparring session by a young man named Elijah Pierce. Elijah Pierce. And Elijah Pierce gives some insight into Gervonta Davis's or... Abdul Wahid's character. And Gervonta Davis is called out again by one of the best champions that there has been in boxing in several years. So I'm going to first talk about that sparring thing and then, bear, then please listen to what I have to say about Gary Russell Jr. and how many of the critics of Gervonta Davis are pretty much laying out my argument for him, for me that that is a fight that we should see between Gervonta Davis and Gary Russell Jr. Now, before I get into the details, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And thank you to everybody that supports the channel and the super thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And everybody that has done it, thank you. All right, so, all right, so first and for foremost, wake up this morning, shout out to Marco. Marco does an interview. Uh, if you're not familiar with Marco, Marco Boxing uh, does a lot of interviews on YouTube, very good channel, um, puts up sparring videos, right? So as a guy that's in the gym, shout out to him. He interviewed a fighter that goes by the name of Elijah Pierce, young fighter out of Oklahoma, six, five foot eight, uh, lightweight southpaw, right? Somebody that is going to give you good sparring and good work. Um, he's been on a knockout streak, a very long knockout streak, although he only has, he has two losses, which I do believe he hasn't lost since like 2019, but a long string of, of knockout wins. So performing very well in his career right now, Look forward to seeing really great things from Elijah Pierce and wish him nothing but the best. Unfortunately, though, the sparring footage gets put out with Gervonta Davis. And why does the sparring put footage get put out to promote Elijah Pierce? That's the new way boxing fans that that boxers are promoting themselves by putting their picture in the in a ring with a major get, showing video of themselves in the ring with a major fighter, a uh, big name draw, and using that to promote themselves. You know, my job is not to, uh, first of all, I'm not a boxing analyst, but it is what it is. That's what people are doing. So let it be, let it be, let it be. In this particular uh, tape, though, it talks about, uh, it, it's, it's framed as if Gervonta Davis is getting beat up. Once again, in sparring, Gervonta Davis has gotten beat up by, I don't know, maybe four or five people in sparring so far. However, when he gets into the ring, it doesn't look any, it doesn't look anything like that. 
So I don't really put too much into this other than what I've always thought about Javante Davis or excuse me, Abdul Wahid is that Mr. Wahid tank, tank, tank has a temper <laughs> tank, tank, tank is the kind of mean dude. If you scratch him the wrong way, you rub him the wrong way. You're going to get something back for your trouble. That is, he's got that mentality. And I think that's a mentality that he brings into the ring, even though he's a very well able to balance that, um, balance that in the fights that he's uh, in the fights where he is letting other people be an aggressor towards him. And sometimes he'll be aggressive towards the other person, but just personality, very quick and explosive, just like he is physically very quick, very explosive. I don't put anything on this sparring stuff between he and Elijah Pierce, other than to have a good opportunity to mention the name Elijah Pierce and wish that he does well. There is another name, though, however, that I want to see in the ring with Javante Davis. And after having had all these conversations with Devin, ha Devin fans about this incredible um, accomplishments that Devin Haney has had in his career, I think that if these are incredible accomplishments, then there shouldn't be any problem with Dev with Javante Davis fighting, doing the same thing and fighting Gary Russell Jr. We are waiting to hear who Javante is going to fight next or uh, Abdul Wahid is going to fight next. And they, and every person that I hear, depending on the fan base is not good enough. We don't want to see a fight with um, Javante Davis and, uh, Isak Cruz. You don't want to see that rematch. Even though people were crying and acting like Javante Davis lost the first fight, we don't want to see the rematch. That's a mismatch. I have no idea how that was, how Javante lost, how the same people that acted like Javante Davis lost that fight don't want to see the rematch. Kind of funny to me. That's not good enough. Rayo Valenzuela, that, he's Mexican, so we don't want to see that. We don't want to see that either, right? Um, who else is out there? Uh, I don't. Frank Martin. We don't want to see that either. I, even though I haven't heard anybody really say that, just nobody's mentioned it. There's nobody for him to fight other than going to 140 to fight Devin Haney. What world champion is he going to fight? Well, how about Gary Russell Jr.? That's a world champion with only one very, very suspect loss on his on his resume. Personally, I thought he beat Mark Mike Sayo. And I think he beat Mark Mike Sayo with one punch, with one hand. And if you look at how uh, Gary Russell Jr. fights, it's the exact type of fighter that people are claiming that Gervonta Davis refuses to fight, which is a slick black fighter. Uh, Gary Russell Jr. is extremely Negro. I mean, I think that he is uh, absolutely 100% a foundational black American. I do believe he is an African descendant of slaves. I do believe that he is a uh, whatever group of black people we want to sub <laughs> break ourselves into these days. He don't get no more black than uh, than Gary Russell Jr. and the Gary Russell Jr. family. Right. No less, no more. All right. So that should work for people. Right. And I want to see Gary Russell get be able to get in there and get a fight with a guy like Gervonta Davis on the big stage, because I think he earned it in his career. Moreover, Gary Russell Jr. ain't no easy out for anybody. <laughs> Gary Russell Jr. is a tough fight. And those guys are about the same height, same size. Uh, Gervonta may have a little bit more mass on him, but. Gary Russell Jr. will is not going to be an easy win for Gervonta. That is going to be a puzzle that Gervonta Davis will have to will have to figure out, and that fight could be a lot closer than people think it would be. Also, anybody talking about Monster in a way, <laughs> anybody talking about Monster in a way, and and Gervonta and Gervonta Tank Davis Abdul uh, uh, Abdul Wahid shouldn't have any problem with Gary Russell Jr. because Gary Russell Jr. is much bigger than Monster in a way, and Gary Russell Jr. and Monster in a way. At 126, give me Gary Russell Jr. over Monster Inouye at 126. <laughs> Gary Russell Jr. is a fighter like that, man, and I certainly hope he gets his shot. Anyway, that's my shameless plug for a fight that I want to see. And my response to all of this, Gervonta got beat, Gervonta got beat, Gervonta, Abdul Wahid, Abdul Wahid, Abdul Wahid got beat. Nonsense. Anyway, that's my take. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. 